Before we begin, do make sure to check out the Second Brain course. It's in its cohort 11, and you can find all of the details in the description below. Now on with the feature. So Tiago, obviously Rome's been, uh, Rome Research has been in the news a lot. It's uh, been bobbling about the note-taking space. Um, what are some of your thoughts about one, Rome Research, the tool, and two, this whole concept and development of bi-directional linking? Yeah, I mean, it's, so on one hand, you know, I, I met Connor a few years ago, maybe 2017 or so, 2018 in San Francisco, because we were both there at the time. Yeah. And I remember seeing super, super early versions and him kind of trying to explain how it would work. And I was sort of like, this sounds crazy. It's very hard to explain, which is what I think we're all finding. And um, on one hand, I'm surprised that it's been so successful. You, you know, it's funny, I, I teach, my main interaction with this stuff is a course where I'm constantly faced with people's problems and issues and challenges. And so I, I repeatedly always have to make things so simple. Any tiny little bit of friction or confusion and you just lose people. And then Rome comes along, which has a lot of friction. You know, we're still in the early days and it's still an early product, has a lot of rough edges. Um, but it's really taken off, I think, uh, around the, the tech, productivity, knowledge management kind of crowd. Um, so on the one hand, it's been surprising. On the other hand, it was sort of inevitable where every about five to 10 years, there's sort of like a new generation of note taking apps, right? Like you, you can see it clearly. Microsoft OneNote was an early generation, right? Like you could say like the 2000s, Evernote is like 2010, Rome and Notion are gonna be the 2020s. It's sort of like each one has a decade. Yeah. Um, and what's so cool too is, is Rome is sort of getting these ideas that have been around forever. Uh, I mean, bi-directional linking goes back to like Vannevar Bush and Doug Engelbart and Ted Nelson and these guys and, and finally implementing those ideas, not just in a theoretical way, but in a way that people can actually use. So we actually have two, two announcements. Um, one is we just came out with a, a Rome course. It's taught by, by Nat Eliason. Uh, he moved it over to our platform so that we could just like combine our communities and learn from each other because every tool and app has its strengths and weaknesses. And then the other one, which is, this is the first public announcement, is I'm about to release, uh, start releasing a YouTube series called TLR, which stands for Tiago Learns Rome. Oh. And it's basically <laughs> me recording my screen and my thoughts as I just come into Rome for the very first time, no prior experience, and just talk through what I see and what I'm learning. And I'm hoping it will give sort of novices like me um, a, a, a way to just see what it's about from, from the bottom, from the foundation. I really like that. That's going to be like, because I have not even done that. That's a wicked course. Uh, well, not a course, but a, a take on Rome. And and like, how do you like, what do you think of like bi-directional linking when it comes to sort of note taking as collective? Do you like the concept or is it something that pushes too much uh, against existing ways of doing it? I, I like bi-directional linking. Um... What I like about it is that it's low overhead. So mm -hmm. it's important that it be created automatically, that you don't have to yeah. like find the two pages, copy one, kind of like you have to do an Evernote actually, like find the link or the, the note ID, paste it in this other place, which is a manual one-way link. Rome, you just do the two brackets and it yeah. puts two brackets on either side of the word and then it's automatically a two-way link. I think the automaticness of it is really, really crucial. Otherwise it would be way too kind of over complicated. Um, I think it takes, you know, what's, what's actually interesting is Rome is so strong about interlinking ideas mm -hmm. and sort of creating these networks of ideas and multiple pathways through your notes that is great, but I think what's really going to be needed even more than ever is the, the focus on implementation, on action, just like we were talking about before. Because what I find is, you know, I teach this in the course, the creative process can be divided into divergence and convergence, right? Okay. It's yeah. like a triangle, you diverge, you explore new options and new possibilities and take a new, new, you know, kinds of ideas. But then at some point, as I've been recommending to you, you need to converge. You need yeah. to actually kill off some of those options and finish with some sort of result. 
And what I notice is most people don't have problems with divergence. They don't have, their mind is naturally going all sorts of directions and constantly exploring new things, which I think Rome facilitates and is, you know, is sort of supportive of. But the, the, the convergence, the coming together of a final product is just as dis difficult as it ever was. No, yeah. I don't believe a software program can really make that happen. It's a personal, internal, psychological thing.